So as we come together today in our new passenger terminal with the modern uh, JetBlue Embraer 190, a 100 seat passenger jet that you see in the background, we begin a new era at the airport. I'm also inclined to say that it really is true that if you build it, they will come. They came, and we really appreciate it. This didn't just happen. This took years of hard work by so many people to bring this to fruition, and I want to collectively thank you all. Quite simply, we would not be here today if it were not for the teamwork of people who had a shared vision of a 21st century air terminal for all of Cape Cod, and one that offers a variety of air travel to many locations. JetBlue is certainly a most welcome addition to our repertoire of aviation transportation services provided for all of Cape Cod. So on behalf of the airport and the staff, we are excited that JetBlue has chosen our airport for this wonderful new service. We look forward to a long and fruitful relationship. You know, it was really uh, exciting to be standing here and watching all the passengers uh, deplaning and uh, seeing Jeffrey Goodell come down from um, JetBlue. And, and uh, you know, we're used to welcoming and, and, and being a former boat captain, we're used to welcoming boats into the harbor with several long blasts, five long blasts of the, of the whistle. The water cannon salute certainly beats the blaring of horns. You, uh, it was very, very cool. JetBlue clearly thinks of everything because uh, we, we couldn't help but notice that the number on your plane, uh, N375, coincides with the 375th anniversary of the, uh, the town of Bonstable. We work a lot on economic um, development in Bonstable, and to see passengers from New York carrying their, getting their welcoming bags shortly, walking through our doors, is a visible reminder that it's people people visiting, people working, people coming to Hyannis through the hub of Cape Cod that will drive our economy and make it continue to thrive. JetBlue can be a contributor to our success, so we both welcome you and thank you for choosing Hyannis. So I've got a welcoming, welcoming, welcoming slogan here for JetBlue, and it's, if you're fond of sand dunes and salty air, take JetBlue to Hyannis, we'll get you there. Two years ago, two summers ago, we did a survey while we were working with the airport. If there were outbound air routes from Hyannis, where would you like to go? <clears throat> we got, of course, a great response. But what unprompted, we got a phenomenal response on the JetBlue brand. People told us, well, if JetBlue was flying for anywhere from Hyannis, I would get on the plane. So kudos to JetBlue for that strong brand. Kudos to Barnstable Airport and Senator Dan Wool for luring this uh, world-class airline here. Kudos to Cape Air for being a phenomenal partner, actually the first domestic airline partner with JetBlue. And I don't know why you couldn't make JetBlue world headquarters here on Cape Cod. Cape Air certainly has, and they're global as well. Very much honored to be part of the welcoming committee today. We welcome you. We have uh, gift bags for all the outbound passengers to New York City. Uh, we know you have sand in your shoes and you'll be back, so please hurry home. Uh, what we wish JetBlue a summer of fair winds and full loads. Um, it's a pleasure working with JetBlue. It's hard to believe that our partnership is now seven years old. We launched our first cities, um, including the Cape and the Islands, on JetBlue route map in February of 2007. Our experience working with JetBlue has been nothing but positive, and we feel confident that JetBlue family will be a wonderful addition to our community. The new rail service to Boston, expanded ferry service to the islands, the increased frequency of the bus to Boston, and now nonstop JetBlue service to JFK are all a tribute to the beauty of our region and a sign of our robust tourist economy. So on behalf of all of us at Cape Air, welcome to Cape Cod. We wish you all the very best. Heard it was January 2007 that our two companies first started working together. Um, Cape Air is one of our most significant partners. We connect hundreds of customers across the two airlines every day. Um, and I hope that in part because of this new flight and the others that we continue to work together on, uh, those numbers will only increase. Um, of course, um, for us today, adding Hyannis as our, as our 86th destination, our 86th Blue City. Um, we look at our commitment not only to this community and not only to the Cape, but um, we add this to our commitment to the Commonwealth as a whole. With our existing service to Nantucket and to Martha's Vineyard seasonally, to our uh, tremendous presence at Boston Logan Airport, where JetBlue is the largest carrier uh, at the airport, as well as our uh, our service in the western part of the state and Worcester, 
Um, we're committed to being in the Commonwealth and to growing here, and we appreciate the partnership of Cape Air to make that possible, as well as others in the community. Um, our mission, uh, of course, is uh, to inspire humanity at JetBlue. Um, that's why we started flying in 2000, and that's really what uh, keeps us going every day. So it's inspiring humanity on the airplane, it's inspiring humanity on the ground, and partnering with local communities. We like the idea of bringing lots of tourists from New York and from places beyond New York here to Cape Cod, but I also hope that um, as other speakers have recognized, you will all take the opportunity to escape the tourists when you want to and uh, fly on to New York and, and, and spend a weekend or time there as well as uh, with to, uh, many other destinations, either JetBlue's other 85 destinations or uh, with one of our partners. To, as of today, as you've seen outside, we will be operating days, daily seasonal service, connecting Hyannis with JFK, uh, on the Embraer E-190 aircraft, it offers 100 comfortable seats, the most legroom and coach of America in America, and it is uh, a quiet, pleasant ride with no middle seats. Um, I don't know how many of you have flown with JetBlue already, or how, I know a number of you are getting on this plane, but I can assure you that it's quite a different experience um, than some of the other airlines out there. I, I hope those of you who are traveling today will enjoy your, your JetBlue experience, and those of you who um, have not yet had the opportunity to travel on JetBlue, and certainly not out of Hyannis, will be doing so soon. We'll be bringing one of these here every day um, for the rest of the summer. I, I do, before we conclude, want to thank um, the Cape Cod Chamber of Commerce and the local community, the speakers you've heard today, for your tremendous welcome um, I have the benefit of traveling to a lot of places that JetBlue serves or that JetBlue thinks about serving, and uh, I've been on more than my share of inaugural flights. I, I can say with certainty I don't think we've had a warmer welcome than we have today in Hyannis. Um, and in many ways, while we are celebrating an inaugural flight and it is exciting to be here for the first time, there's a certain comfort in the fact that it seems like we've always been here. So I'm, I'm confident that uh, that today is the first day of a very successful summer, and um, we will continue to see uh, a great deal of success. On behalf of the airport commissioners, I extend congratulations to your inaugural flight, 864, its passengers and crew from New York City. Now this flight is evidence of your belief that Hyannis and all of Cape Cod is a fertile market for daily jet service to and from New York City for business and for pleasure travelers. Now we're very pleased to see from an innovative pioneering airline that they've developed uh, an operating system that seems to be extremely good, a dedication to the kind of superior service that JetBlue is going to provide between here and JFK. Think about this. This is great. In one hour's flight time, about half the time it takes you to get to Logan or to TF Green, we Cape Codders can visit the Big Apple or connect with dozens of JetBlue or international flights that'll take you anywhere on Earth. And we'll fly on a quiet, efficient, and comfortable twin jet, the Embraer E-190. It's truly a far cry from the DC-3 and especially the noisy earlier jets that followed. Now we recently invested about forty million dollars into our airport because we have faith in the future and this is the kind of return we had anticipated. A commitment from a first class carrier to top flight service which will undoubtedly be a valuable contributor to our local economy. So let the flights begin to those, air, to those passengers departing on inaugural flight 863. Have a wonderful trip to the Big Apple. And to JetBlue, as Bogey said in Casablanca, we hope this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. <laughs>